where. <laughs> <laughs> My name is um, Pascal. I'm Miss Jankovic. Melanie Cow. I'm from Norwalk, Connecticut. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I'm from Rome. I'm an elementary school student. I'm a software engineer at the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association. I am a student <laughs> currently. I also work part-time as a waiter. Now I'm quarantined in Philadelphia um, in an apartment, my first ever apartment, with two friends. In here in Rome? Um, at home with my family. Uh, first of all, um, school moved online, which was kind of a new normal for me because I'm really being face to face, used to being face to face with my friends and kind of being able to learn with them. And then our extracurriculars, such as skating and taekwondo, started to move online, and we were finally having a lot of classes. I ended up starting my job in May before I even left campus anyway. Um, so it just sort of accelerated the speed with which I transitioned to the next phase of life. It's a bit of a cliche, but you come up with all the existential questions, those. Because you're alone and you're not really doing anything, that kind of stuff, it really makes you think about it. Like, I, for me, personally, one thing which the lockdown has done is it's helped me to see my career path clearer. I've had a lot of time to think about where I want to go and what I want to do in the future. I mean, I, I try and stay active, but try is, is a big word because I wake up. The thing is, my, my weakness is waking up, so I wake up at like 11 maybe. Um, but from when I get up, I try and stay active, I try and do a decent amount of exercise during the day, try and, even though I'm not currently studying because it's not, it's not, my university's not on now, I still try and like read an article, a journal, just keep myself up to date with whatever's going on in the field, which I'm studying. I like going for runs in the evening because it's just a nice way to kind of let all the steam out after the day. Every morning I wake up, make myself scrambled eggs and oatmeal. And I'll complete a graduate journal entry for school. Um, and then I work from 9 till 5. Sometimes I have meetings, sometimes I take some breaks and do some ab exercises or something like that just to keep going and motivated. And then on some days I like to video call my friends to be able to catch up with them. After work hours I like to cook, hang out with my roommates, and go biking and running where there aren't too many people and it's not too crowded. After that, I'll go to skating practice or I'll do Taekwondo from home. And finally, I'll eat dinner and go to sleep. It's kind of weird because your home environment and your school environment are kind of getting mixed up. Regular social interaction on the job and while I was writing my thesis it would have been very good to be able to meet with people in person and talk about things. Um, but I was able to get the same substance out of online interaction anyway figuring out how to use the technology, the computers, all the different um, all the different interfaces that they had because each class used a different thing and it was a bit of a mess. That was definitely a challenge for me. I really do like the flexibility of location that comes with remote work. I think it's very convenient to be able to be with friends and family wherever you are and be able to work because that doesn't matter where you are. Um, and this also allows me to travel a lot in the future when um, COVID is not as much of a worry. Um, so I might stay with remote work after the pandemic. However, I also do miss regular social interactions, so I'd have to make sure that that was fulfilled still. We're... <laughs> That's gonna come. No, we're, I, I'm, I, as I was saying, we're gonna have to be doing more stuff online. I think I think that's just the way things are things are headed. We're going the world's becoming more digital. Probably not because homework is uses less critical thinking because we're just being given questions from the textbook and we're not actually collaborating with peers and um, developing more questions we're actually thinking. I started learning a couple new languages which um, on, on Duolingo which is this Thing. yeah, this online way to do it. Um, 
it's a website. But and, and I mean, I, I, it's not something that I've been doing incredibly seriously. It's not like studying a language at school, but it's more just like learning how to talk, how to communicate. If I had to go to one of these countries, and I was learning German and Portuguese. Um, I've always really loved baking, and I kind of wanted to learn something that I could use in the real world. I didn't cook before quarantine. I know this is probably a typical thing to say, um, but now I know a few staple recipes, such as lentils, grilled chicken, basic things like that, um, and I feel a little bit more self-sufficient. My favorite part about working at home is that I can take breaks whenever I want to eat, to work out. Maybe I'll take a quick nap and then just work later on. Favorite part? Uh, I'm being able to wake up late is definitely <laughs> my favorite part, not having to wake up early in the morning. I think that I got to spend more time with my family because during the school year it's always really chaotic. And also I've been able to develop my art skills more and been able to use new mediums and develop my skills with mediums I've already used.